in the Flinders Ranges, goats have become a huge problem. They're unmanaged and they're in thousands and thousands of numbers and eating a lot of native vegetation. So if we can eat them, that's all the better. Once you know how to cook them properly, they come up really well. Australia's the largest exporter of goat meat and it's the most consumed red meat in the whole world. So there's a lot of cultures and a lot of countries that eat goat meat quite regularly, but as a nation ourselves, we really, um, we really underutilise the resource. Goats are regarded under South Australian legislation as a pest. On pastoral land especially, goat are considered vermin, so it's actually illegal to keep goats. And so most people muster them or trap them and sell them. This is the goat that Stefan slaughtered yesterday and it's been hanging overnight and now we're about to cut it up. I'm going to take off a rear leg and bone it out and turn that into a rolled roast, which we'll marinate and cook it up tomorrow. We don't usually use a meat sauce, so because goats are pretty lean, we generally, excuse the crunch, uh, we generally just bone, it, bone them out. So that means we don't cut up the bones as well. We just take all the meat off the carcass. This is a really lovely goat, this one. And I guess we've had some pretty good rain in the Flinders, so it's probably been on some pretty good food. Generally, goats are very lean um, animals. They don't carry or store much fat. Um, unlike sheep, which tend to, they can store a lot more fat. Righto, so that's our, that's our goat leg. That's going to be a roast. So I usually like to slice a couple of bits of lemon and put them inside the roll. It's a tenderizer. Gives it a bit of colour and flavour as well. Okay, now I've got some butcher's string here, which we use to help roll him up. It's better to have two pairs of hands for this job, but if you don't mind what it looks like, one pair will do. It's nice to be able to, to start with meat from scratch like we've done here today, to be able to start with a carcass and to cut it up yourself and to be able to cook it. There's something really rewarding and enriching about being able to do that. Getting food from the, from the paddock as such and then taking it to the plate. Okay, so just choose a good sized dish and you can use the same dish that you're going to roast it in. That usually saves a bit of washing up. So just squeeze a bit, of, bit more lemon juice over top of the meat. Again, that's a good tenderizer and it also gives it some nice flavour. And then we just spoon over some yoghurt. Just enough to cover the whole of the meat. The reason we use yoghurt, it's a really good tenderizer. It keeps the meat really moist because it has such a low fat content. And it's quite traditional, goes with goat. Um, a lot of Middle Eastern countries eat mostly goat and they also eat a lot of yoghurt. So the ingredients just work really well together. Right. Just put this in the bag. And then we'll stick them in the fridge. Okay, so this bit now we're going to make the seasoning for the top of the goat and we put in about a handful of almonds and you don't have to roast them but I like to just fry them off for a couple of minutes because it releases the oils and the flavours. Um, this is a couple of teaspoons of whole coriander seeds and a couple of big teaspoons of some sesame seeds. Once the seeds start sort of popping or sizzling a little bit then take them out and crush them up in the mortar and pestle and then we'll sprinkle that on top of the goat which has already got the yogurt on it and it makes a nice crust. And then we'll put it in the oven. Okay, and that's ready to go on the goat. And we'll do it fairly liberally and it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it goes, falls down the bottom because it all adds to the flavour and it makes a little bit of a gravy. And um, just to make it really nice, it's good to actually pat it on the sides a little mm. bit. Uh, makes it nice and crunchy. Okay, and then that's it. Okay, now. So we'll bake it in a moderate oven, about 180 degrees for an hour and a half, or we'll just test it halfway through with a, 
um, skewer and just make sure that it's cooked all the way through. And um, yeah, should be about an hour and a half and be ready to eat. Probably a little bit brown on the top, but that'll be perfect, just like that. We'll let it rest for about five minutes with some foil on the top and then carve it up. Just put some fresh parsley on top, just for garnish. I think we're ready to serve up. Mm, and really fantastic. It's not a strong gamey taste. Mm. It's a very subtle. Mm -hmm. It's very similar to lamb. Mm. This goat was really luscious. It's really nice to cook, cook with, and it was especially easy to cut up because the meat was really nice sweet meat.